Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. Do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to roll back graphics driver. For NVIDIA card users, you can go to NVIDIA website. And once you go to the NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, then select your operating, operating system and then click on search. Now the latest graphic card driver right now is 572.83 and this is causing problem for many uh, players. So in that case, you can roll back. You can click on view more version and for many players, this version has worked 566.36 uh, the GeForce game ready driver 566.36. So you can down, you can view this, download it, and when you download it, after the download, once the download is complete, run the exe file, click on OK. Now over here, click on Continue, and then click on Agree and Continue, and then select Custom option, and then click on Next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete sl.pcl.dll file. You can create a backup first. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, and then click on browse local files. Now open the engine folder and then open the plugins folder now open runtime folder now open nvidia folder now open streamline folder binaries folder third party folder win64 and over here you will find this sl.pcl.dll file so you can create a backup first so copy this file and maybe you can put, put it to the desktop now once you have a backup over here now you can just rename it or you can delete it either you can delete it and then launch the game and then check for many users this has worked if you don't want to delete it you already have a backup so no need to worry so you can rename it or delete it if you want to rename it dot old and then you can check if that does not work you can even delete it and then you can check if you face any problem you can always put this file back and then check now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can make a right click once again go to properties and this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game you can select direct x11 in the graphics option so once you launch the game and you can go to settings and then go to graphics scroll down now under advanced over here you can see direct x version now if this is set to direct x 12 in that case you can set it to direct x 11 and then apply the settings and then restart the game and then you can check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now open this bbq folder binaries win64 make a right click on the, this exe file select properties and go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time select windows 8 over here hit apply click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check still not working. Then this time you can select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. 
Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then you can open Windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browser apps and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed in my case the game is installed in this location and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open Again, click on add and allow app, click on browse all apps and then open VB2 binaries Win64. Select this exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse and again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on open click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and this time open this bbq binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view and then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop app and then Go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, bbq binaries win64, select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can click on the game. Check where is the game added. Once the game is added, now click on the game. Now over here, select high performance nvidia you will see your graphic card over here select high performance launch the game and then check you can do the same thing with the first exe file do the same thing select this exe file click on add and once it is added click on it and select high performance and then launch the game still not working then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to Win windows settings and then go to windows update then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 version so click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well click on it 
Again, run this exe file. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter, dongle connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor and then check. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. So to disable Steam overlay, go to Steam, go to library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn this off and then check also if you have any other overlay application like discord or geforce experience running so if you have discord running you can go to discord settings go to game overlay over here and then on the right hand side here you can see enable in game overlay if this is on you can turn this off and if you're using GeForce Experience on the top right, click on the settings icon and then over here you can see in-game overlay. You can turn this off and then check. Now, also if you have any other overlay application, then you can turn off the overlay in that application or you can simply close all the overlay applications. So if you have any overlay application like I have Discord, you can close it. If you have GeForce Experience, close it. Any application, Close all the overlay application and third party application as well. So if you see anything running over here, you can just close it. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI after burner running over here, make a right click, close it. If, have, if you have revert tuner running, you can close revert tuner. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration and go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out i already did it in your case this will be highlighted so put a check over here then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 
into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available in software and download page and download and install the BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer, then update the system BIOS. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, in that case, you can switch to window mode and lower down video settings. Like if the graphics preset is set to ultra or high, you can set it to medium or low quality. You can even try to turn off the V-Sync, turn, turn off or turn on the V-Sync and then check. So try to make changes in the graphic settings. So try to lower it down and then launch the game and then check. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to D, uh, C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.